Hello and welcome to a very special edition of Cake Fight Presents The Making of Kaleidoscope. This is the writing of Kaleidoscope, a series that's exactly what it sounds like. I, writer, director, producer Paige Feldman, will be taking you inside my process daily as I write the script that's going to become the film that will be my feature directorial debut, Kaleidoscope. I'm trying to write this script in the course of two weeks before the clock strikes midnight on 2021 and 2022 begins. Today is Sunday, December 19th, and it's day three of writing Kaleidoscope. y'all, I get a little bit messy trying to figure out what the heck a scene is. <laughs> I like trying to think that I know everything. I don't. This is proof of it. Enjoy this vlog. Thank you. So let's start off with some stats. Yesterday, I stopped writing on page 14. Today, I wrote 12 pages, which is one more page than I did yesterday. Uh, getting me from page 14 through page 26. But while I wrote only one more page than I did yesterday, I actually wrote four, three more scenes than I did yesterday. Yesterday I finished off scene one and wrote most of scene two. Today I finished scene two and then wrote scenes three, four, five, and I started scene six. So wrote three complete scenes and two partial scenes. I, I had my fingers in a total of five scenes today. And I only wrote one more page today than I did yesterday. And that's wild to me. It's it, as I've been sitting here after finishing writing, trying to figure out what to share with you all. I keep coming back to the fact that yesterday I was worried about how I was in the middle of page 14 and yet hadn't even finished scene two. I was halfway through page count wise where act one was supposed to be and yet I wasn't nowhere near halfway through the scenes I needed for act one. And because I've written enough, I knew that I wasn't going, it wasn't gonna be a problem. It would be a long first draft, but it always is when I'm writing. The, the real question though is what even is a scene? As screenwriters, we tend to use scenes as our units of measurement. And yet there's, there's not really a standard idea of what a scene is, which is weird because as a screenwriter, so much of what you're taught when you're taught the form is about structure. There's formatting rules. There's certain conventions of storytelling that we follow, act breaks, pinch points, midpoints, etc., things that need to fit into a box. And it's weird to me that I can write nearly the same number of pages yesterday as I did today, and yet write, what, twice, two and a half times as many scenes? That's bananas. I've just been, I've been thinking, what is a scene? I know that my buddy, Robert McKee, all right, so I went, instead of speculating about what my buddy Robert McKee would say, I went and grabbed his book off of my shelf. A scene is an action through conflict in more or less continuous time and space that turns the value charged condition of a character's life on at least one value with a degree of perceptible significance. Ideally, every scene is a story event. And then a story event is one that creates meaningful change in the life situation of a character that is expressed and experienced in terms of a value achieved through conflict. Basically, a scene is an event that changes a character's life through conflict. So that is Mr. McKee's definition of a scene. And I really like the definition as an idea, as something to strive for. But I'm not sure... I'm not sure whether I agree with it in practice. I'm just gonna use an example from Kaleidoscope to kind of puzzle out where I think this idea that every scene is going to be a life-changing event uh, for a character that is determined through conflict, or this doesn't feel 
this doesn't feel right to me, so maybe I can puzzle this out. So I have scenes four and five back to back, which I think step outside the mold of McKee's scene. Jonah, who's in the driver's seat, and Devin are driving along a relatively clear road, shooting the shit and ignoring their problems, when suddenly a car swerves into them, or maybe they swerve into the car, it all happens too fast. Jonah gets out unscathed, but Devin is grievously injured. And then scene five. One year later, we discovered that Lee declined the photography position. There was an internship she was interested in getting. She took the car accident as a sign that she shouldn't take risks or change her life, so she hasn't. She and Devin are still together. She's still working at the firm, and she almost quit the night of the party. She's racked with guilt at the terrible things she shouted at Devin as he ran out the door. While this is a life Lee seemed perfectly happy with earlier, she now knows what she could have had and is miserable. Her camera is gathering dust because it's not important, and she declines an opportunity to submit her photos to a competition. Devin now walks with a cane and is surly and frustrated at his lack of mobility. He and Lee don't seem like a romantic fit. So these two scenes back to back, there's nothing in here that says scene in terms of McKee's very plot driven definition. I do realize that scene four fits the idea of a life changing event. It just doesn't happen through conflict. And scene five is a continuation of that life-changing event, but so separate in space and time that it's, it's its own scene. It's its own unit of measurement. So even though I kind of disagree with McKee's definition of a scene as a, essentially a unit of conflict that shows a character's life being changed over and over again throughout a script, because I, like, that sounds exhausting. <laughs> I can't think of a better thing for what it is. My, my one idea is that it's emotion, a unit of emotion. Um, but even then, scene four with the car accident, there's not really emotion there. It's just an event. A scene is an event in a script, and sometimes it's just a couple lines. And sometimes it's, you know, 10 pages or more. <laughs> but a scene is a unit of measurement for screenwriters. That's what I have in this document that's guiding me through writing a script in 14 days. And that's, that's the, the unit we have agreed on, but what does it even mean? Because as good of a definition as McKee has, talking about conflict and life-changing events, sometimes there are things in stories that are smaller than life-changing. The scene can sometimes encompass multiple events, too. Scene one of Kaleidoscope is an introduction to the party and an introduction to Lee, and she meets a woman who can potentially give her some business in her law firm, which she turns down because of a job offer. She hasn't told her boyfriend, and her boyfriend thinks, finds out about it. And then they get into a fight. Is that, that's one scene? Is it two scenes? Is the, is the introduction to the party separate? Who know, I've chosen to make it one scene. So I think I'm gonna end this blog here, this very introspective day three of writing a script here by asking all of you, what's a scene? How would you define that unit of measurement? Leave in the comments what a scene is to you. <laughs> and then maybe I'll have some more clarity tomorrow. As I see you in the next installment of Writing Kaleidoscope.